Hi everybody, this is Student Ambassador Hanuk from Diablo Valley College, and today I'll be showing you how to find your classes. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is log into Insight. And then from the Insight homepage, you're gonna wanna find your registration tile. And then from there, you're gonna wanna go to register and drop. And that's gonna take you to your schedule builder. And then from your schedule builder, you wanna first make sure that the term that you're searching for is correct. And then also, if you've met with your counselor and created an education plan, you should be able to import those classes to your schedule builder by clicking my education plan here. You can also filter your search by campus. So we have Contra Costa, Diablo Valley, uh, San Ramon, which is part of Diablo Valley, and then uh, the LMC campus that you can filter for. And then you can also filter based on course type. And then if you know the the specific class that you would like to search for, you can either enter the course code or the name of that class. So for example, if I wanted to take Calculus 2, I could either search in Calculus 2 and find it here, or I could type in Math 220 and find it either way. From there, I can hit the, the carrot over here, which will open up a description of the course any uh, requirements, so this has a prerequisite of Math 210. It's gonna show the campuses, the courses offered at, and then it's gonna show the dif different sections. It also show um, that these are zero textbook cost classes, meaning you won't have to pay any money for the textbook, and then any um, other relevant information uh, specific to the different sections will be down here in the class remarks. If you'd like to use the advanced search, you can do that also and filter by specific general education requirement or special program. For example, if I want to search for a UC general education requirement course in the area of humanities, and you'll be, you should be also be able to filter based on day, uh, time, and specific subject, title, or instructor. All I have to do is select them and then click add selected course and it'll add it to my schedule builder. And then all I need to do if I decide um, that I don't wanna take one of these courses and I wanna remove them from my search, all I have to do is press this um, trash can icon. So if you've already selected the courses that you would like to take, you can scroll through all of the different permutations of your schedule by clicking these arrows at the top. So by clicking these arrows, I should be able to see all of the different schedule combinations. So right now for these three classes, there is a total of 203 schedule combinations that I can make. And then let's say I found a course that is in the time that I like. I can pin it and then all of the rest of the permutations will be schedules with, with this specific class at this specific time. If you found a schedule that works for you, you can save as favorite down at the bottom and you can title it, title it if you'd like and just hit this blue button to save to favorite and it will save this specific schedule. So if you ever need to look back at it, you can do so if you'd like. Um, there's also a print if you'd like to print your schedule out and a share if you'd like to share your schedule with a friend or an advisor, you can do that also. And then once you're done with your schedule, you, all you need to do is hit continue. And it should take you to this page. Scroll down and to register for your courses, all you would need to do is hit submit changes. So if you're trying to register for a course that has already begun, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is contact the instructor of the course and receive permission from them to add the class. Once you've received that permission, all you're gonna to need to do is go to your schedule builder over here and find your course. All I would need to do is hit continue. And under action, it should say authorized to add if the instructor has given you permission to enroll in the class. And then all you would need to do to finish the, your registration is hit submit changes. So, uh, for example, let's say I wanted to drop this English 122 class. I would just scroll down and press this continue button. And if you've already enrolled in the class, 
under this action section of your draft schedule, it should say drop right here. Um, and then all you would need to do to finish dropping the class would be to press submit changes.